Hey everybody. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to host Jellyfin on your Raspberry Pi using Docker Compose. The reason I'm doing this is because I kind of become this solution over the last couple of years with streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, and et cetera, et cetera. I think that um, for all the money that I spent, I think it would be better worth if I just go on eBay and buy used media. You can buy, like I bought this for like $3 and it's an original Blu-ray of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Now I can rip that, put it in my Jellyfin server and stream it wherever I am in the world through my VPN video that I did last time. And I feel a lot more at ease. I can stream in like 1080p, 4K. There's no limitations because Jellyfin is truly open source. Um, you are probably familiar with the alternative to Jellyfin, which is Plax Media Server. Uh, this video is going to be pretty straightforward. So all we need to do is go to the Linux IO website right here. Linux server IO has done a lot of good work containerizing services, Jellyfin being one of them. If we scroll down, we can find the configuration. Let's copy this over. Let's go to our Raspberry Pi, let's SSH into it. Once we're in our Raspberry Pi, we're going to do the same thing we've been doing up like for every video so far, we're going to create the name of the service at the home level. So we are at home, but just to be sure, let's CD. Okay. We're going to make a directory called Jellyfin. Oh, I misspelled it. Okay. So sweet. I fixed the naming. So let's CD into Jellyfin. In here, we're going to create a couple of directories, right? We're going to create the config directory. We're going to create the movies directory. And if you have any TV shows, we're going to do a TV shows directory as well. That we have those directories created, we can do ls and you can see they are created indeed. Let's create the docker config. So nano docker config. Oh, sorry, docker compose.yaml. In here, let's paste the configuration from the Linux server IO team. And all we need to do is a couple of things and you should be set to go. Now, the initial intent of this video was to use hardware acceleration on the Raspberry Pi. Unfortunately, the latest version of Jellyfin has dropped support for OpenMax and the video for Linux thing that they're using doesn't really work that well. And I think the software encoding on the Raspberry Pi is good enough. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. So let's comment out the Jellyfin uh, publish URL. We don't need that. And let's just mount the path that we just created. So home code fallacy, then the name of the service, which is Jellyfin and then config and same thing for movies and TV series. Okay. So all of the uh, volumes have been mounted. Let me just double check real quick. And that is it. All you need to do is control O enter control X and Docker compose up dash D for detach mode. And now it's just going to download the image. I think I may have downloaded it. Oh, never mind. It just proved me wrong. While that's downloading, I'm going to show you which movies I plan on showing you Jellyfin with. See, my plan was to use the rip that I did from Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, but I want this video to be as copyright free as possible. So we are going to the Blender Foundation and we downloaded a couple of their movies. I have already, I already got them, uh, but you can, if you want to test it yourself, please go to this website, download the movies, and then we can load it to the Raspberry Pi. Um, these are the movies that I downloaded, Big Buck Bunny, the laundry mod agent and so forth. Now, in order to move the movies from my computer to the Raspberry Pi, we're going to be using FTP for or with FileZilla. Last video, I used SCP, which then made me realize people don't want to see some guy typing away on the terminal all day. So we're going to open FileZilla and the you all you need to do is add your IP of your Raspberry Pi SFTP. The username, the password, and then the port is normally 22. We are already connected, so we don't need to do anything. Uh, however, because this is a new connection, let's see. Movies. We just need to find where we downloaded our movies. So I have a directory called Blender Movies, and in here I have all of these movies. So all you need to do to move them over is drag and drop. And now it's going to be downloading the movies. And the cool thing is that I think Jellyfin should be completed by this time. Yes, the Docker Compose is finalized. In order to access it, we can just open the browser, 
go to the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, the local IP address. And then in order to access it, we just need to do port 8096. That is the default port that Jellyfin wants to wants you to use for the web admin. Okay, so because I already had a Jellyfin installation, I got a different web page. However, this is just cached by the browser. If we go and open up a private window and type the same address, you should have the same splash screen welcoming you to create an account. Here it is. Welcome to Jellyfin. Okay, let's click next. We just need to create the admin user. This user is going to be super powerful with everything. We're just going to do for code fallacy for the for this demonstration for both the password and the username, just keeping it simple, but you should definitely choose an ease, uh, more secure password combination. Okay. Let's click next. Now we're going to select the media folders that we mounted earlier in the Docker config file. So we are going to do the movies first. We're going to add the folder and it should show up right here. Movies. Okay. And we should do the same for the TV shows. Ah, okay. Here it is. And TV shows. Now I'm sure there's a lot more we could do TV shows. Okay. Um, I forgot for the movies to come down here and add chapter images and to save the artwork and all of that stuff. But that is something you can fix later. Oh, let's do it. Ooh, sorry. Let's edit this right here. Manage library. Yeah, I want the Raspberry Pi to extract chapter images and save the artwork. That's one of the cool things about Jellyfin. Once you add the movie, it will go out and get the metadata for you. Okay, it's taking a little bit long. Not sure why. Okay, it's doing it right now. So we can just exit that out and click next. Next. And next, and you should be done. Now we can log in with the admin account that we created. And right now it's in the process of scanning the library and getting the metadata, but you can see that it already did it for some movies. Like if we wanted to watch Big Bug Bunny, we can just click on this and it starts playing right away. And this is a 1080p 60 image. And we don't have to worry about copyright because Big Buck Bunny is open source. Let's go ahead and try another movie. Agent 3. Ooh, this one was kind of loud. 327. Now, if we open up the terminal and do htop for the Raspberry Pi, you can see that streaming isn't that resource intensive. It is bandwidth intensive, but it's not resource intensive unless you start using transcoding. So this movie is in a certain resolution. I think it might be HD or 900 P, but if we go here and select a different quality, obviously, like if you're far away, if you're using mobile data, maybe you don't want to stream it at 1080p, then you can go here to 724 megabytes or megabits. If we go back to the terminal, you can see that it may, it barely made a dent and it's using your CPU. This is why I don't think hardware acceleration is necessary. But that is because the media is optimized. If you have a 4K, you know, HDR movie, you might want to actually convert that to a 1080p MP4 format for streaming purposes. All right, so this has been it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, it will help the channel move in a positive direction. If you have any feedback, leave it in the comment section. I read every comment.